Welcome back. Bit to cover in here today. Seems to be the case lately, a lot going on. So um, we'll get in, have a bit of a look. Um, we've got some good news and some bad news, um, but we will get to that a little bit later. All these birds are doing really well. Had them out flying, not today, but the last few days. Um, got this little hen here too. Really need to do something with them. Having a bit of a play around with um, certain pairs, you will notice the mealies back in here. Just separating her for a couple hours from that cockbird that we had, the big king. Just giving, um, you know, making him fret a little bit. Sometimes when you take the hen away, they seem to, you know, really move their feet. I can hear him over in here crowing, cooing for her. So, um, you know, he does miss her, so we should be able to get them paired up a bit quicker. They're, they're pretty much there. I just want him to be really pushing her. I really want him in the nest bowl. I really want him crowing and carrying on. So he hasn't been super into that just yet but um hopefully after today he doesn't have much choice hopefully he will get back in there and sort her out so that is a good idea um got this cockbird here too thought it was a hen but these little ones down off the storm sort of birds are yeah they are very henny looking so this one's definitely a cockbird i was trying to pair this one up with apache but um we managed to get his half sister paired up with it so we'll see how we go. We do have a few other bits and bobs in here, but I'm not 100% sure how many pairs I want to put down in that. We've got majority of them over here working. It's kind of just trying to get through these last few because there is, realistically, we've got this little cockbird over here we need to pair up. We have this little hen here that needs to be paired up as well. And uh, there may be one more, but I think they are the two main ones. And we've got this spare one here that um, we may do something with as well. She's one of the line bred hens, but um, yeah, don't want to be just pairing up for the sake of it this year, because we done that last year and it wasn't overly exciting as we probably thought. So we'll see how we go. I know there's a few comments about pairing up the ones that come back from the race, like that hen um, and her brother, but not overly interested at the moment. I'm going to give them another year of racing um, and then see how they go after next year. But uh, yeah, we'll just wait and see. Um, the staff fan reit side, I'm still, um, I was pretty confident with in the beginning, but I don't know if it crosses too well into um, some of the Hermans and things I've got as well. So the only other option we've got is these two little hens over here that we may put with Shock. These are his daughters, but these are uh, when we paired Shock up with Storm. I've mentioned these ones a few times, but um, yeah, still sort of, Still debating what we're going to do with those ones with just the last few pairs. I just want to make sure that um, you know, we put a bit more thought into them because they're not as easy as a lot of the other ones over there. They were just easy. We definitely knew what we we're going to pair up with what. Um, the only other option we might have is even considering sitting that merely hen aside and then pairing her up to um, the young rung one, wherever he is up here. They both have a similar breeding, so that could be an option if we don't put her back in with King. I'm just going to give it a few more hours because I do have another hen that we might be able to put with him. Um, he hasn't been too nice to her, to be honest. He's, that's why she's in here. She's having a bit of a break, you can see. Um, yeah, we had them doing pretty well, but he's been a little bit rough a few days, and I thought he'd be more in the nest cooing and stuff like that. So um, we'll just give it to the couple of hours, probably after lunch, and I'll sort that out. But, yeah, that's the last of these ones little fellas down there he's just chilling he's doing pretty well i'm surprised how well this one's adapting to the trap and that i'm really going to try and get the other ones over here shortly as well let's go over to this other side so we can get in on a little bit of action i'm partially way through cleaning and uh refilling up all the drinkers for this morning and getting some fresh food in there but um i found some bad news you'll probably see it there behind the barless hen it's a broken egg We've had another bit of trouble, you can see. There's an egg broken there and there's all the little footprints in it all over the place. Um, and then you'll see this little hen here. When she turns around, you can see underneath her there, there's some broken eggs and things like that. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I generally put the babies with the babies when I'm cleaning out. You're meant to be on this side. So that um yeah it's easier because normally she doesn't fight them but she was fighting them then so um actually what has happened we'll go with the bad news first she's got all pink on her beak because she's been eating the pink mineral powder so 
something's happened overnight i don't know probably this morning maybe early this morning i don't know if this barless hen because she's done it before she done it with um the big blue bar hen we had they she smashed leon storms round um we actually it was yeah your brother she one of you's killed your nest mate anyway so um yeah something's happened so i think that she's come across here confused maybe um she is pretty dominating she doesn't want all the boxes and she might have just broke those eggs when fighting with that hen so um yeah i don't know what's going on here but hopefully we don't lose these eggs that are in here we will just have to wait and see a little bit but uh, that's the bad news anyway so i'm not very happy about that but um I, i'm gonna have to do something whether we paint one the walls different colors at the back so that you know it's not as confusing um because you can see the confusion there so we will i'm gonna have to put a bit more thought into that before i do anything but uh yeah we'll see how we go this one i need to wean him out soon anyway just to simplify things because yeah these babies are all getting to that age and i'm um, still waiting on some eggs up here as well i was hoping we would have had some by now but uh, no not yet Hopefully in the next few days. We do have some good news in here. We will get back to the pair down below, but um, as we've seen, these ones have been hatching. And we this one's really, really close to hatching. You can see the little chip marks all through it there, which is really good. And we do have a little baby in here. I haven't really looked at it yet, but before, had a brief look at it before. And you can kind of see that it might be a tie grizzle. Generally, my tire grizzles have um, had that really light beak at the start, and then it sort of goes down to the bottom, similar to what you might get with a pied. He's got some really little pink feet on him too, so there's no black marks on there, which is interesting. So he's going to be a grizzle of some sort, I'd say, this one. So uh, we'll just have to keep a close eye on him. I'm saying maybe a tiger, but he could still turn out to be a blue tiger or, you know, just a normal blue grizzle. So he's doing pretty well. He's got um, plenty of food in his crop, you can see there, and this one is starting to chip there too, so that one's a little bit behind, but um, we might, oh, we'll see how we go, but they are looking pretty good, these ones. I'm, I'm happy. We'll just see if we get some tigers. The chances are pretty high. Tiger, the grizzle is the dominant gene, so fingers crossed that we do get something. Okay, so we're back. I um, had to take a phone call and also got an email at the same time. So um, I'm actually been working this weekend on call, so um, I might have to head back out and do some work, unfortunately. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just leave these guys and we'll probably check up on them over the next few days. Um, also, the email I got was um, some new pigeons. I'm looking at some new pigeons. Um, I've been chasing these ones for quite some time and you know these are some really good one loft ones so I won't say too much just yet because I don't want to get my hopes up I've been ghosted before in the past um, so I'm hoping that these ones do come through so fingers crossed but um, they are top secret at the moment but um, I'm actually pretty excited actually because I just got that email um, so it, these ones really close to weaning I'm gonna have to do it soon she's still sitting here thinking there's actually eggs there um, so my plan might be now uh, I was really only going to do two to three rounds off these. We've already got two rounds off it. That was the third one. So what I might do is potentially, I'm going to sit on it for 24 hours. Um, I potentially might separate these ones. Um, we'll just see, or I might just let them lay again. I'm not 100% sure. The babies are looking really good, but I'd really like to blend in my family of birds instead of just having um, these. Like I really want to use the cockbird. Um, for one of those little hens. Whoa, we are blowing out something chronic there. Um, I really want to use one of those, that red checker cockbird for the other hen we've got over here, which is similar way bred to this little hen in here because they do produce some really good babies. When I paired Storm Ups that red checker last year, it produced this cockbird in here. We'll have a quick look at it. We've pretty much covered everything in there at the moment. He's in and out of lockdown because he's very dominant, takes over everything. Oh, there's one of the eggshells down there too. That's cool. Leo's been very persistent there. Um, and we've got some good news up there too, which is good. Um, it really just takes a little while for these to settle in. We'll have a look at those in a minute. Um, but this cockbird here, um, Red, the son of Red Checker and Storm, he's actually turned out to be an absolute stunning pigeon. He's a ball of muscle and um, he is unreal. So the only reason I wanna um, 
consider pairing up one of those inbred storm daughters is so that we could potentially breed some more of these so we can actually race them because um, I feel like these are going to be super tough fast birds and that's what I want to want fast tough birds strength from storm and the speed from that red checker so that's kind of where I want to go I really want to test some of them this year so um, I do want to try and do that pairing now let's have a look in here because little patchy is getting a bit crazy he's definitely changed his tone hasn't he look at him it's a beautiful bird I think this is going to be a really good pair I think it was um a good idea actually swapping him over to little storm with a more mature hen I think that's he, that's just what he needed he just needed a mature hen to sort him out that's what happened She's definitely done a good job of that, I think. Look at him, he's just a changed man. Before he didn't want a bar of anyone. Now he just wants to pair up and sit in the bowl and coo to her, which is good. So we're slowly getting the pairs sorted. We've got a lot of new pairs this year, a lot of new birds as well. So um, it is a little bit um, of a juggling game. And he's just a big, strong bird. Look at him. Just, I'm very excited for this pair. Storm, well, little Storm, this one, spitting image of her mother. This, pretty, she, this little hen here, she raced, she was pretty good. She didn't clock, but she was always with the clock birds. Um, she raced out to like 300 kilometers or something. She was pretty consistent. That's why, I, that was the only one of these that I was able to get back with my friend, because the other ones were even better. Um, but a lot of those are lost, I think, now. It's been a few years since then. That's 2019, that ring, but they've done pretty well, so... That was the reasoning. I thought if I put one of this hen um, in with Apache, we might have some better results than the young hen. And she's reasonably proven as well. She's raced and she's bred just a few babies. Well, they're still here actually. I think three of her babies are still here that we've raced. So that's good news. It's a good start. So we'll um, probably just leave them be. But I'm just, I really like watching him. He's such an interesting pigeon. It's an interesting shape to him, the way he puffs himself out and carries on. It's really hard to get a good focus on the camera here because there's so much light, different lighting angles. Today it's weird. But geez, I think oh, this is going to be the pair, I reckon, this one. Look at him. Right, we might leave them alone. So stay tuned, um, I need to get ready and go to work, otherwise I'm going to be sitting in here all day. I've got to go on this call out anyway, I'm only temporarily locked them in here. Um, if I don't go now, I'm just going to be stuck here looking at pigeons all day and I need to go get this call out done so I can come back home.